Hello everyone. So, I've got the Great X Kaiser parts. It's that one behind him. So, uh, I'm gonna actually film this over a couple of days. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out by Saturday. Uh, but <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get him built and uh, so I can do a quick mini review on him. But uh, yep, just fresh off the truck. It literally came in 10 minutes ago, so I'm stoked. So we'll take a look at the box and see what we've got. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the box for the Dragon Jet Arts. So as you can see, that's the front. Ugh. That's the side. Uh, on the sides, it actually looks a little bit faded, but uh, uh, still uh, looks pretty cool. This is the back. And this is the other side. So this is probably about uh, twice as thick as the uh, original X Kaiser block. So it has a lot of different parts in it. So uh, maybe. And then that is the top. So, oh, you can't even see that. Wow. Let's see if I can bring that back. There we go. Huh? Yeah, it actually looks almost like it's uh, like a photo that's kind of been faded a little bit. I don't know if that was what they were going for, if they just kind of <laughs> messed it up. But the front of it looks good. So, I mean, it's just a box. So, but uh, it does look good. So, all right, we'll go on to the next part. Okay, so this is Dragon Kaiser. Um, yet again, it, it, it's amazing. I don't really have any complaints. Uh, the only complaints that I have is relatively minor stuff. So just the fact that it's a uh, model kit, you know, you have pieces that possibly fall off, things of that nature. Um, so that's really the only knock I have against it. Um, also, the, just the fact that, you know, it can't form Dragon Kaiser. I think that would have literally made this perfect. Um, like you are still missing some pieces to form him into Dragon Kaiser. But uh, ultimately, I ain't got no complaints. I love the stand, the fact that the stand can hold all of the swords from Great X Kaiser and King X Kaiser. So you have uh, both versions of uh, the Kaiser sword and you have Dragon Archery. And that's also interesting that they would not make a way for you to get uh, Dragon Kaiser because you've already got the weapon form and the majority of his parts. I don't think it would have taken much more to uh, uh, To form him but uh, but yeah other than like you got a couple missing parts and stuff like that But uh, or not missing parts, but falling parts. Um, that's just kind of typical things with uh, model kits Sometimes things get loose or they don't fit the way that uh, that they should or supposed to but ultimately it's not anything uh, to be Super worried about it is it's amazing. It's amazing. Look um, Now I'm gonna be honest. I'll probably never have the Dragon Kaiser in its jet mode ever Because <laughs> you know, it's King X Kaiser and Great X Kaiser So um, I, I guess if I bought a second one I didn't buy a second one of the Dragon Kaiser parts because they were just this is too expensive is a you know 100 and, 110 120 uh, to uh, to get it and so you know, I'm just not going to uh, do that just to have that display and to be honest I don't really have the room because this is a pretty nice size display uh, It is pretty big. It will take up a whole detox. So uh, Without anything else in it, you, know, you can try to finagle it around but ultimately That's what's going to happen. So uh, we'll get this guy transformed and uh, And do that but uh, yeah, you know, this is uh, Dragon Kaiser, the Dragon Jet, and uh, the combination of King X Kaiser and the Dragon Jet is Dragon Kaiser, and then he uh, merges with the King Loader, and he will become Great X Kaiser, so we'll try to get that done. 
merge sequence and I find this to be actually very interesting this wasn't needed but this is a very very interesting uh, uh, thing it is fragile since it's a model uh, pieces will fall off uh, it did take a little bit to put everything on but ultimately I still like the end result um, I don't see anybody actually using this unless you have multiple X Kaisers and I don't know if that's going to be something that a lot of people are going to do just simply because of the price tag but um, this looks just exactly like uh, the prototype and I'm very surprised I think this is probably the first time that I've actually seen this in a model kit in any form that I can think of uh, most uh, most figures or models that have transformation kits, they don't usually go this. So kudos to Bandai for this. Uh, I give it a 10 out of 10 for looks. Um, I think it's very, very interesting. So I do like the uh, sequence. And uh, if you had like one or two, I could definitely see putting it in, in there like this. Um, I probably won't ever have it in this mode, but it is something that is cool. Um, and I do iterate, uh, I do say again that it's just, this should have been a figure. Like, this is too nice, and not to say anything bad about model kits, because model kits are great. Uh, I've built, built Gundams for 20 years, and some of the model kits are some of the most highly detailed and intricate kits, um, uh, figures that I've ever seen. But, especially with the new metal build line, and, or it's not new anymore, but... Uh, you know, metal build Gundam line. This, to me, should have been that. It should have been a metal robot. It should have been an SRC, whatever uh, line that you want to call it. This deserved it. Um, it needs metal because this can be get very, very loose, very, very flimsy. It's solid, but it's, you know, for a kit. But kits, you know, model kits just can be on the flimsy side sometimes. So, uh, but... You know, like that. Like I said, there's not really anything I would change outside of that. And these are just little nitpicks. That's all that I really can find with it. But I find it to be very interesting. And uh, all right, let's finally get him all together. And we'll see what he looks like from there. Okay, so I finally got him built. I uh, finally got him put together. And this is him. This is great. X Kaiser, uh, it is marvelous. It is marvelous from an aesthetic standpoint. I am literally blown away with the level of detail. It looks amazing. Now, unfortunately, I can't give it a 10. And <laughs> there's some reasons why, but it's more about just the fact that it's a model. So it is really just being nitpicky. Uh, and it could just be my personal experience. I can't say that uh, all the experiences will be the same. But uh, once you kind of get him out of jet mode, basically, Great X Kaiser, he's a parts former. So in essence, all of these uh, parts from the Dragon Jet kind of just hook on to um, onto, uh, King X Kaiser. And... There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have any problems with that. However, the thing is, it's it's an interesting build because it's partly a snap fit kit 
and it's partly not. It's kind of like a, you have to set the Dragon Kaiser parts kind of like in grooves. And that can be somewhat problematic because um, I had, I say yesterday, I was putting them together and I just had certain parts just kept falling off. They just kept falling off one after the other. And literally it took me about an hour before I could actually just get them in this stand or in, in this, uh, you know, thing where nothing was falling off because I'll tell you, because none of it's snap fit, most of them just kind of fit into little grooves. And if you try to apply any pressure, because it is a model kit after all, and model kits can be very fragile. This is no different. Uh, but uh, there's two parts up here on the shoulders, here and here. These snap into uh, the parts on uh, King X Kaiser. But if you put too much pressure on them or you try to move the arm in a certain kind of way, it'll snap off. Now, it doesn't necessarily totally fall apart. It doesn't, you know, drop like a, a, a bag of Legos or anything, but I just had a really difficult time, you know, if I would mess with the arms, then the main would fall, main would fall off. Then if I messed with the, uh, the front skirts here, then the side skirts would fall off. And it was just a constant battle trying to get it all on and you know to where nothing you know uh would fall off and so for me if you have two x kaisers or you're never going to use the king x kaiser you just want him in great x kaiser uh form then i would say just glue it and be done with it uh then you won't have to worry about it that's actually the reason why i have bought uh two king x kaisers because i actually do like the design of the original King X Kaiser, even though this is definitely by far better. Um, I think that the original King X Kaiser uh, form is really good. Now, as far as height is concerned, he's significantly bigger. Um, I will do some part comparisons, but uh, but yeah, so that is really the only knock I have about it. And if this was metal, I don't think this would be a problem at all. Uh, now, you know, I can't say that it's truly the model kit's fault. It could have just been my fault in building it. I was in a rush because I did want to try to get this out by Saturday. Uh, whether or not I make that or not, I'm not sure. But um, but yeah, it's it's amazing. So to me, overall, it's a 9.9, something like that. Like just the look of it itself is worth the hassle that I had to deal with with all the falling parts that kept coming off of them. I can't say that that's going to be the same experience that you have. Uh, you may be a better builder than me, even though, you know, I've built model kits for 20 years, so I'm definitely no stranger to it. But uh, this is kind of a typical problem in a lot of model kits. It's just, that's just kind of the nature of it. Um, so, we will do some uh, some size comparisons with some other Brave uh, kits. And uh, like the accessories for this guy is pretty, pretty good. He actually has a lot of leftover parts. And honestly, they should have made a Dragon Kaiser. Um, I think that would have been phenomenal uh, to have a Dragon Kaiser. Because Dragon Kaiser actually might be the, I, I don't know if I'd say it's the best design of the three uh, forms of X Kaiser, but it's definitely, I would actually say King X Kaiser might be the, in third place, and then I'd have Dragon Kaiser in second place, and then this form in first place. So, uh, but they definitely have the parts. Really all that's truly missing is like the, the, uh, the head and then kind of like the body frame parts for, uh, for Dragon Kaiser. I mean, it came with golden archery and all that stuff, so. Um, it's, it's there, but yeah, overall, it's, it's an excellent kit. If you are a fan of Brave, if you are a fan of, of X Kaiser specifically, uh, he tends to be the second most popular one. I think the first, the most popular is Gal Gygar, of course, but, um, this is usually the second most popular one that I usually hear about online and stuff like that. And, uh, it's a good series, but yeah, so, uh, we'll do some parks comparisons here and, We'll get to that. Okay, all right, so uh, let's see what I've got here on my desk for some of these 
uh, comparisons. Of course, this is kind of my go-to comparison when it comes to Super Robots is the SRC. <clears throat> the SRC uh, Genesic Gal Gygar. Um, as you can see, uh, Great X Kaiser is taller than he is. So he definitely gets some height uh, with the Dragon Jet. Uh, so we've got, uh, so that's the comparison for them. Uh, let's see what else I've got here. Of course, I've got to go with some of my favorites. You've got Power Dagwon. Right. And then we've got Fire Dagwon. And as you can see, uh, he is taller than all of those. Um, but he will, uh, he'll fit in perfectly with them though. He's taller, but not so much taller to where he looks like he's out of scale. Uh, so I would say roughly that those are all the same, uh, the same scale. It's, you know, like a one by 144, one by 120 ish scale. It's kind of hard to say. They're not really, uh, they don't usually have scales for like super robots like they do for Gundam and stuff like that. At least that's what I've noticed. So the scaling for super robots a lot of times are all over the place, but yeah, that's, uh, so that's those. And then of course I would be. Uh, I definitely can't leave out the actual true comparison that he should be. Uh, let me get all of these out of the way and then we'll go to that. All right, so of course, here is the <laughs> true comparison. This is on the right, you have the Kotobukiya uh, Great X Kaiser, and then on the left, you've got the uh, Bandai version of Great X Kaiser. And I still like the Kota Bikia. Uh It's a solid, it's a solid one. But as far as the look is concerned, it's the Bandai version by far. It's not even close, even though the the Kota Bikia one is more anime accurate. But I like them both. I definitely wouldn't be getting rid of any uh, either one. Uh, and you know, looking at the the sword for uh, the Kota Bikia version, like the Bandai accessories are out of this world as far as how big they are uh to be honest i would try to do the obari pose with the bandai great x kaiser but with all the problems that i had with falling parts and stuff i'm a little little hesitant to move him but i will go through the accessories uh but yes i i love them both i love them both for different reasons uh but but I clearly do really enjoy. I think in the hands of a master modeler, the Great X Kaiser would be a, just it, it would even be better than this. You know, with paint corrections and all that kind of stuff, uh, it would be it would be a masterful kit. Um, I'm actually considering maybe having it sent to a master builder and having him kind of do it. Of course, those you know they can be kind of expensive. And it's hard to find in the States. Usually you can find them in uh, uh, in Japan where, you know, you can hire somebody to put the kit together and, and paint it and all that stuff. And that, that it can be quite costly on top of the fact that the kit is already, you know, with X-Kaiser and the Dragon parts is he's going to run you 150 easy. I would say with shipping, probably closer to 200. So... Uh, and then you've got to pay probably anywhere between two and three hundred for the the modeler's time to have it, you know, corrected and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, so it would it would be a serious investment. But uh, you know, it's a thought. It's something that I can I'm considering doing. I, I've been building for so long. It would be hard for me to to swallow my pride and <laughs> and send it to another modeler. But uh, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so. Uh, those are the comparisons between the two great X Kaisers.
probably saw a preview of the accessories when uh, I showed um, the Dragon Jet. Uh, that was the stand. Uh, I'm not going to bring it over here because it's just it's too big. <laughs> it's too big. But, you know, on the Code of Ikea, you saw the, the Kaiser sword with that. And it's a pretty big sword. Um, but <laughs> the Bandai version of the Kaiser sword is humongous. I can't even get it in the full shot. It's heavy. There's no... I, I would be hard pressed to believe that this thing could truly hold this without a, a stand. I just, <laughs> it's too big. It is huge, it's humongous, right? And it's its also, it's, it's accurate to the show. And like I said, this is straight out of the box. So it's got the, uh, the white with the red tip. And then, you know, it's got the blue in the center with the white to where on other, um, on the uh, Cota Bikia one, all that's got to be painted. That's why it's just straight yellow because I never, I never uh, painted it because you know that's a lot of detail painting. Whoops, that's not even in focus. My bad. Uh, that's a lot of detail painting, and so he is. It's huge. It is a huge sword. I mean, as big as X. Ex I mean, I can't even get it in a shot. That's only about. To, I would say that's probably about half. You're seeing about half of how long that sword is. It's just, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> you could truly get an Obari pose out of this. It's just, it's so heavy, yo. Like it's heavy for, it's heavy for me. But yeah, so he's got that sword. Now he does have a smaller version of it. Okay, and then I can compare this one directly because the Kota Bikia one had a smaller version of the Kaiser sword as well. So this is the smaller version, a lot more manageable, <laughs> a lot more manageable. Let me see if I can get that in focus. Yeah, uh, there we go. So that's that one. And it's the same one, just the same style of sword, same detailing, just, uh, you know, it's uh, a little bit smaller. So you could definitely carry this one. This one I'm not as concerned about, but yeah, so that's that one. And even that one is tall, you know, I can get that in a full shot. But now if you're going to compare that to the Kota Bikia one, uh, here you go. I mean, let me see, I'll grab them from the top here, but yeah. And of course, as that detailing, so even though you could detail it here and here, just like they did, uh, you, that that is uh, that is detail painting to where you've got to mask all of this, and any model builders will know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, you've got to mask all that, and then you've got to layer paint it and all that stuff. And so it's it's very tedious to where this one, it came straight out of the box. So <clears throat> so even though they're relatively the same, the same height actually they're exactly the same height, but but this one by far uh, takes the cake. It's just, it's, it's amazing. So he's also got that. And then, so not only does he come with the stand, no, no uh, not only does he come with this super extra large Kaiser sword and a regular one, but he also comes with golden archery. Now, this is the weapon that Dragon Kaiser used. Uh, pretty much it's just a bow and arrow. So this is just a, a, a bow. And so, and usually how he would form the uh, the Kaiser sword for Great X Kaiser is uh, uh, he would merge the regular Kaiser sword and uh, and the golden archery and he would kind of like smack them together and literally they would form the the big Kaiser sword so that's pretty much what this is but this is yeah this is uh, this is golden archery this is what he called it and it's, you know, so that's a, a added bonus. I actually, that goes back to me saying that I really wish that they had actually made a Dragon Kaiser because Dragon Kaiser is dope. Uh, but yeah, so those are the accessories. Not only does he, so he comes with a stand, he comes with all those accessories. Um, yeah, the only, the, the only issue I have with it is just the simple fact that parts do fall off. Uh, 
and that's why I'm not even trying to put him in any poses right now. Uh, I will have to do that for the photo shoot. I still plan on doing one. I just want to get this review out first, especially since it's Saturday. But uh, but yeah, so that's him. So yeah, I give it like a 9.8, 9.5, you know, somewhere in there. It's it's super high up there. Uh, definitely the best looking X Kaiser that I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, it's a great all around. So if you like Brave or if you just like the design in general, um, I would say pick him up. He's definitely worth it. So... Well, all right, guys, I think I've rambled on long enough, uh, and I'll try to get this out today. So, but anyways, thanks. You guys have a good one.